Hi guys, I wanted to show you this toy. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, let me see. We have paper, straws, a topper, and cardboard. It's all you need, well, zip ties. So this is what I have. Let me try and get this set up. There we go. So I have my topper. I like having a bead on top. I don't like showing this. Some type of string. Of course you can use uh, wire or anything else. This is just the one I decided to use with this. Scissors, zip ties, zip tie cutter, um, straws, and your um, pencil sharpener. I found this corrugated stuff. I think you can buy these in strips online, but I think I got this out of a box from Amazon. I'm not sure. And Elmer's glue. So what I did, I took a strip of paper, rolled it, this up, glued the paper on here, came up with this. Now if you want, you can, before you glue the paper on, while you're rolling this, slip some nuts or any kind of foraging items in here. And then when you roll it up, the birds will be able to chew this. I mean, they're gonna chew it anyways, but they're gonna find fun stuff in here to forage for. So, once I had these three drying, I only use three, obviously you can use more. I also took what was left of the paper and made my pinwheels. I used three different colors of pinwheels. I have a whole bunch of my straws ready to go. And what I did, is just guessed on what size piece of string I needed. And the reason I chose string was because then I can do both, go in both sides. And when I put it through here, I can make it tighter as well. I'll show you what how, how I put these together on there in a minute. So I liked having my stuff at the bottom the straws at the bottom, and I wasn't sure how to attach them using string. So what I did is I took a zip tie, like I would normally set these up, but then I took my string and wrapped it in here. I don't know if you can see the string right here. And then I just made it tight. I clipped my zip tie off and I saved this zip tie because you'll need it as like a thread puller for later. So now, even though this isn't the correct length, I would have both of these quite long. But now I have these together and these are gonna be my base. So, That's exactly what I have here, my base. And then all I did, where is it? Was also put the, the rest of the tons of straws I put on here as well. Let me show you how I did that here. I only used six straws, but then I cut them in half because I only wanted the straws as wide as my paper. Obviously you don't have to. It was just something I wanted to try. So, whew. And I tried to get them to match. So then what I did was I took my pinwheel, let me get this out of the way, and put a zip tie through the bottom on each side, 
where the holes already exist. I placed my cut straws here. And got it snug. And I say snug because if you get it too tight, uh, you're going to warp. I don't know if you can see this. You're going to warp this. And this will start pulling in. But you want it tight enough so these don't come out either. So there's a fine line. It's not going to make or break anything. It's more for cosmetic, of course. So now what I did is I have three. I'm fluffing this up quick. I have three pinwheels, all different colors. And again, you can do however you want, but I got these all ready to go. These have been sitting while I got everything ready, and these are ready to go as well. They're nice and dry. Took my drill, whatever sized hole I want. I personally put it on the seam, and in the middle, it's easy to push it down. And then I did that. I'm going to do these other two quick. Now, if you don't want to use glues, and some people don't, I'm really not sure how you're going to put this on. But maybe just by after drilling it, and making sure it's over the flap a little bit, it'll all stay together securely. I didn't try it, oops, sorry, but maybe it'll work for you. So, I took my base, and I decided whichever one I wanted as my bottom. And then all I did was take each side, each tail, to each side of my pinwheel and pulled it up. Okay, or if you wanna, like I did, start with the roll. Find that piece of zip tie you saved and bend it in half. Now it's gonna be a nice little thread puller. And that's all depending on what size hole you have already put in your cardboard here. But for me, this is the size hole I like, so that's why I'm using the thread puller. So I have this on first. Then I'm gonna go back and put each tail on each side. Oops of my pinwheel, if I can find it once I pull it through. There it is. Now as you see, I got this too tight. If you want the zip tie too tight, you can push this back together. Oops, I ripped it a little. Um, figuring out where everything goes is another story. These little buggers snag. So, let's see where I'm at. There we go. So now we're just gonna repeat that process of cardboard pinwheel. And when we're done, we want it nice and snug. If you get it too tight, you're going to squish this. And that's totally up to you if you like that look or not. But when we're done, I have pre-drilled a hole in my um, duck. I'm gonna use my thread puller once again. Especially with the rope, it is so nice to have one of these handy. And we're gonna put that on. And then we will place this in here. And this is just again, cosmetic. Now, what I did 
on this is the same concept. After I was done, I tied a knot, and this is however you want to hang it, or if you want to add something, some type of stainless steel um, pair to add, or you can tie a knot, however you want to hang it. But this is the end result with both of them. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks.